The Fashion Lab was created to bring people together to experiment with technology and fashion. We're working really hard to bring two dresses to a reality by our Halloween fashion show on October 31st in downtown Iowa City. Erica Cole, a student from the University of Iowa, has designed two dresses that we're working together with Abram and Daron of Nothsor Systems to make a reality. We have a deadline of October 31st. There's only a few short weeks left to make this happen. This is uh, the first design. I've wanted to kind of make something like this for a while, but um, this is the final form of the dress. I'm planning to have motors attached to um, strings that tie to the bottom of the hem of the dress that will pull up the layers one by one. Hopefully all of the motors will kind of work um, together to create kind of waves. This is the second one that I had. It'll start something like this um, with all of the petals up around the model. As the flower blooms, it'll reveal this nice gown underneath. Cool. Um, Easily too, if we're just talking about like the waving of the different layers, yeah. you just have like you have a three printer, right? Yep. You have a couple gears. Each of them has like a different lever arm on it. So one motor is driving all the gears. Yep. But as they rotate, it's like different amounts of yeah. motion, and those are each attached to a different string. My initial thought was, wow, that's out there. I've I've never seen a dress attempt to bloom, but I yeah. think it's very doable, especially with you know the kind of technology that's available today and the kind of miniaturization you can get. It is so exciting. I have been looking for an opportunity to do this, something grand and large scale like this for a long time. Put it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Not quite evenly. 